Hey girls, welcome back. So today I have a try on video for you, kind of like a what's new in my wardrobe lately that you haven't seen. And it's quite a mixture. I didn't have enough to do a try on for one specific brand. So I just decided I would kind of put a bunch of pieces together. So you're gonna see a couple things from Abercrombie, a couple things from Lululemon. Um, some other brands are gonna be mixed in there also. I've got a lot of like casual wear. I've Obviously the workout wear from Lululemon. I have a, at least one bathing suit to show you. So yeah, it's just going to be a mixture of new pieces that I'm trying on for you. Um, I think I've pretty much tried everything on for the most part. Uh, we'll see. And as always, I'll have everything linked down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I think we should just get started. The first two new pieces I have for you are going to be this tank I'm wearing. And I also have on a new pair of denim shorts. So let's talk about this tank first. This is a crochet scuba scuba tank. This is from Abercrombie. I recently bought the ribbed scuba tank and I just loved the style. So, spoiler alert, there will be an Abercrombie try on coming soon that's going to feature scuba bodysuit and scuba crop top. I just haven't received them yet. They've been shipped. I just don't know when it's coming. But I'm just excited because I just, I feel like this cut is so flattering. Like, I just really, really like it and then it's like racer back in the back so this is crochet i'm wearing a small and then it has like this built-in not really a bra but like a shelf bra that goes all the way around and goes to there so then that way you're not seeing through the crochet until this lower part and you honestly don't really see anything i'm not sure if this comes in other colors i'm really not sure and if it doesn't right now like it could in the future because abercrombie does that but i just love this love it love it love it now we have to talk about these denim shorts I have shared so many denim shorts on this channel I've done two videos where I've talked about every pair of denim shorts in my collection I did one this year and I did one last year and I would say that most of my denim shorts are Abercrombie and then I've got a couple of Gold Day pairs and I have a couple Levi pairs. And this is my thing with denim shorts. And girls, let me know if it's the same thing for you. I will find a pair of denim shorts that I love. Like let's say the Abercrombie mid-rise boyfriend shorts. You've seen me share them many times. I bought them last year. I was obsessed with them. I wore them a lot. I definitely got my money's worth. I was so excited, so excited for them to come back out with them this year. And they did. And they don't fit the same. And my ones from last year, I don't like them as much as last year. And I don't do this with all clothes, but for some reason with denim shorts, I just find that when the next year comes, and maybe it's because they've been washed multiple times, that I just don't like them as much. And you girls know that I love, love Abercrombie as a whole, but this year I've tried so many pairs of denim shorts and I just haven't liked them. And sometimes it's me buying the wrong size, but in general, I just I don't, even if I buy my real size, I just haven't liked them. I have like a pair of dad shorts that are okay. Um, but I just haven't been so impressed. So many girls rave about the Abercrombie mom shorts. I've tried so many pairs, they just don't work for me. Uh, I have one pair of Levi shorts I really like that I've had for a few years. What I'm getting at is that I feel like I found this, pa I found this pair of shorts at the mall a couple days ago. And they're a very pricey pair of denim shorts. But I was just kind of trying things on in South Moon Under, which is a store that has like a bunch of different brands. And I recently bought a couple pair of jeans from them. I bought my Goldie and my Paige jeans from them, if you saw that video. And I do have a Goldie denim shorts that I like, but my thing with them is that they're all distressed. And I even tried on the Goldie Parker Long, because I've had the Parker shorts in the past and they don't work for me, even though they work for everybody else. So I thought I'll try on the Parker Long. And I'm gonna say I really liked the Parker long I liked the Parker long and I liked these but I didn't want to get both pairs because they were 
they're both expensive. So I went for these because the distressing is so small. It is so hard, and I've had some of you request on my videos to show denim shorts that aren't distressed, and it's so hard to find denim shorts that aren't just so destroyed. And a gold day tends to have them be really destroyed. And since I already have two a gold day pairs that are destroyed, that's why I didn't get the Parker long. But if you've been looking into them, true to size did fit great. I can't remember if I took a picture of me wearing them or not. If I did, I'll put up a picture. I'll put it up, but unfortunately, I don't think I took a picture. I know this has been like really long-winded to get to these shorts, but these are by the brand page, and I absolutely love them. Obviously, they'll be linked down below with everything, but I love the fit. They're very high-waisted. They're very thin. They're very similar to the shorts that I got from them. I got them in my true size 26, and the waist is great. Like, it's, I mean, I can pull if I go like that, but if I just wear them where I'm supposed to on my waist, they fit so nicely. They're good length. Like I said, they're very thin. I feel like they're the perfect wash. I'm hoping that these are going to be a go-to for more than one year. I'm really, really hoping. They're not a short that's gonna go out of style. I just, I put them on and I immediately loved them. So I did decide to invest in them because I'm gonna be honest, they're more expensive than the Gold Day. This is the most I've ever spent on a pair of shorts. And some of you might watch this and think, Carrie, you're nuts. But I live in Florida, denim shorts are a staple. And I just don't always want denim shorts that are riding up my butt and ripping and where every time I wash them, they're getting shorter and more afraid. So I feel like I need to find better pairs like these that I invest in that I'm going to have years to come as long as my size stays the same. So that was so long winded, but I just felt like these shorts deserved the explanation and I just have been so frustrated and if you've watched try ons you've seen me try on a lot of denim shorts and it's just like I don't love how they fit this year and I love these and honestly because I bought these and spent what I did I'm planning on going through all my denim shorts this weekend and if I don't love them I'm purging them I'd rather have three pairs that I love than 15 pairs and I never grab over half of them okay Let's move on. All right, next up I have two new pieces again, again by different brands. So first off is this sports bra. So I'm gonna step back. So I have a sports bra and black leggings on, but completely different branding. So first is the sports bra, and I'm gonna show you the back. This is from Athleta, and I, if I had to choose just one, store or brand for sports bras, I would choose Athleta. You girls know I've been loving Lululemon lately and I have found some sports bras I really like there, but as a whole, I have so many great Athleta sports bras that I've been wearing for years. I'm constantly looking for new black ones because I pretty much wear a black sports bra to work every day. I mean, I wear a sports bra to work every day and it's just always easy to grab a black one because I tend to wear black joggers. So I picked this one up. It's a different style that I hadn't bought yet, but I like the style in the back. Nothing is adjustable. I'm wearing a small any sports bra I buy from Athleta is always a small for an A to C cup and it's great because they have that specifically on the tag where it says A to C and then I think it's D to double D so you want to make sure you grab the right cup they always have removable pads which I love and yes I just really like this one it's a little bit lower where as you can see paired with this le these leggings this is like a great outfit by itself but then obviously I could put a top on if I'm like going to work now let's talk about these leggings because I actually just put these on for the first time because I wanted to put something on with the bra and I have been buying so many leggings from Amazon. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, um, and I, I've done a little bit over here too, where I'm trying to like compare um, Lululemon to Amazon and find lookalikes and things like that. So I bought a bunch of leggings from Amazon. Haven't really been impressed with any of them. There's still one pair that I'm waiting to try on that should be promising. But I bought these because I've been loving this 
like V look lately. Like I feel like it's so cute. I bought a pair of biker shorts from Target that have this V look. Oh man, those are dirty, but those are great. Um, and I, I just love the V look. So I think that's why I grabbed these because the brand, I don't know, Ododo, obviously they'll be linked, but I just put them on and I like them. I, I really, really like them. I'm impressed. I'm sure I'm going to check. Yeah, I got them in a small. You can see like the length is perfect. I'm 5'7 for reference. I always have all my sizing down below too. But this is the first pair of Amazon leggings I've put on that I'm considering like, oh, I'm actually going to keep these. They're pretty soft too. Like they're not as buttery as the Lululemon ones, but they're pretty darn close. And I think I just really love this V look. I feel like this is such a flattering look. Like it looks so good on everyone. And you can see they're pretty high waisted in the back. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking these. So just a cute little outfit where, you know, you get the, the leggings for a little bit less, but I think it's good to invest in sports bras. I haven't found any Amazon sports bras that I've liked. I found like the crop sports bra tops you've seen, but not a sports bra. I'm going to be sticking with Athleta and Lululemon for my sports bras, but I feel like, and again, everyone's going to not necessarily think what I think, but I feel like you can't have too many black leggings. And I feel like so many times I go to grab black leggings and then if I don't have any clean, it's disappointing. So I would say like I have a, a Lululemon pair, an Abercrombie pair, an Athleta pair. Um, and like this morning when I went to get ready for yoga, it was like, ooh, do I even have any black leggings clean? So I feel like I like these. I might as well just keep them for the rotation. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. I'm being very long-winded in these try-ons, but some of you like it, and those that don't, like, you can just fast-forward to the next outfit, right? If you don't mind that I'm long-winded, put uh, a black heart down below since I'm wearing all black right now, and that will let me know that you don't mind when I go off and really ramble for a long time. Okay, next we're going right into some Lululemon leggings. If you watched my last Lululemon try on video, I had purchased these leggings, but I had purchased them in the 28 inseam instead of the 25. And I told myself it was fine. I would wear them anyways. Well, I don't know, however much time went by and I was going to the mall this past week and I still hadn't worn them. So I was like, I'm just gonna return them. And sure enough, they had the 25 inch seam. So they're the same leg same leggings. I just figured I would show you them in my true inseam. Also, when I filmed that video, I was under the impression that these were brown because to my eyes, they look brown. But when you look online, these are actually the red. And then there is a brown color, which I haven't seen in the store. But I don't care. I bought the red ones anyways. They really look brown to me. I guess they're like a deep burgundy wine, whatever. But I love them. And I have to say, going from the Amazon to these, like, yes, these are better quality obviously these like suck you in a little bit more but I still think like those Amazon ones are pretty are a pretty good pair but I think it's really just that I I like the V but anyways here are the Lululemon Align so now I have these in black and this color I'm not someone who's really into like a lot of bright leggings I actually tried uh these on in pink when I was in the store because they were actually on the sale rack and they were like bubblegum pink and I love pink for other type of clothing, but for leggings, I tend to just stick with dark colors. And that's why, like I said in my previous clip, I'd rather just have a bunch of black ones. And like, you know, these are, I thought brown, but dark red and like dark brown, like things like that are what I prefer for my leggings. I used to have stripes and like leopard and all these different prints, if you knew me a couple of years ago, but now I just, I don't want that anymore. That's just me, our style changes, our taste changes. But again, these are, uh, and it's like the same idea like I want to buy leggings that I'm not going to tire of like you're not going to get tired of black leggings like yeah it could be boring but they're always going to be perfect to throw on for a yoga class <laughs> all right next I have this set from Amazon I don't think I've shared this with you girls I think I've only shared it over on Instagram but 
It does come as a set, so the top and the bottom are both a small. It's super compression, like the shorts are so tiny before you put them on, but it's just, I saw another girl on Instagram wearing the set and I just kind of thought, oh, I want to try that and I love it. Um, I think I said it's ribbed. It comes in a ton, a ton of colors, but I loved this brown color, so I picked up the brown. It does have removable cups. Um, I just feel like it's such a great set for summer for working out. Uh, I've, I haven't ever been a fan of the biker shorts. Like I bought a pair from Abercrombie a few months ago. I returned them. I didn't like them. But now I found this pair and a pair from Target um, that I really, really like. So yeah, I'm just going to go for it because like I said, it gets so hot here that it's good to not always have to wear long leggings. But like I said, this comes in so many colors and it's definitely a great find from Amazon. <laughs> All right, next I have a bathing suit from Abercrombie. This is the third Abercrombie bathing suit I have bought this year. I am just loving them. We know I love Abercrombie in general. This top, I always feel like I have to just keep moving it around to get it just perfect, but it's like an upside down triangle top. So it clips in the back and ties up here, but then like the singeing part is here instead of down there, which I just think is so cute. This comes in so many colors. Um, I kind of want to get more colors, but I feel like I have enough bathing suits. And I just loved this green. And I loved, it's like um, terry cloth, I think you would call it, the material. The bottom I'm wearing is the same bottom, like of all the suits I have from Abercrombie. It's just, I think it's just like their high rise cheeky or something like that. What's great is that the pieces are sold separately in case your sizing isn't the same, but I do go ahead and get a small in both pieces. Next I have a couple really cute crop tops and they're not from Abercrombie. So this is from the store South Moon Under. Like I said, that store just has different brands, so if I can't find it on the store's website, sometimes I can find it on another website for you because it seems like everything they have in store isn't necessarily online. But I just thought this was so cute. So it's one shoulder, obviously. Um, it's very stretchy. It's really soft. It does have, it is ribbed. Um, it's cropped, but as you can see, I put the shorts back on. If I'm wearing high-waisted shorts that covers my belly button, then you don't see any skin. And it's kind of the perfect length where it's like the top sits and it's like, it doesn't tuck in, but it's not really like hanging over the shorts like the whole time, like just in little parts. And I just... I love it. The sizing on these is weird. So it's this is actually a medium slash large. And whenever I've bought, I know I have other tops from the store where the sizing is like that also. And I swear I never even, I guess it would be an extra small slash small. I never even see them. And I feel like the medium slash large is good. Um, it's not like super tight where I can't breathe here. Like it just fits me perfectly. So I guess I'm like sizing up in it, but I don't care. I think it came in other colors, but I was obviously just drawn to this like neutral brown taupey color. And this is just going to look good with like any denim, white denim, blue denim, black denim, shorts, shorts, whatever. So definitely excited to wear this for summer. Okay. This next crop top is also from South Moon Under. It's by a different brand then, and it's obviously a different style. It still has like a ribbed textured feeling. It's gray. And what's interesting about this is that it's one size fits all. So you're just supposed to put it on and go. Um, so, and just for reference, like my mom tried this on and um, it fit her also. And we aren't quite the same proportions on top, if you get what I mean. So it will just stretch for the person. And it also came in like a navy color, at least from what I noticed in the store. But how cute is it? It's like in the back, you can see like you're not going to see anything. You might see a little bit of skin with the high waisted shorts, but I really like it. It almost, this part is almost like a band at the bottom and 
I'm with all of this stuff I'm just wearing my nipple covers as always but this almost feels like a top you could work out in it's not a ton of support but I think it would depend on your size like for me it's not a ton of support but I definitely could do a yoga class or something low impact in this but I just like it as just a cute top to wear First, okay, this is the last crop top from South Moon Under, but how cute is this pink color? So this is a different style. This is the same brand as the one shoulder one that I showed you. It's just a different style. It's also a medium slash large. And again, I never even tried on the smaller one. I just like how this fits and I love the pink so in this case I love pink leggings not so much but cute crop top yes so sorry my hair this is more of just a scoop neck and again I know that these tops come in diff in other colors than what I'm showing you this is just the pink just caught my eye these shirts kind of give me like these tanks give me like free people vibes but they're not they're just these other brands and I would guess that like this tank was 30, which I would imagine a free people one would be more. But again, I just, I'm loving all of these tops. Girls, if you're tired of crop tops, I'm sorry, but I found so many good ones. So this one is actually from Athleta. So it's considered a workout tank and they had it on the mannequin and they actually had it layered over a sports bra. But for me, I don't feel like I need a sports bra, so I just have my nipple covers on. So again, this is a top you could work out in or just like pair it with some denim shorts and it's so cute. It This is the back. I don't think anything is adjustable, no. But it has that look in the back as if you were wearing a couple tops, but you're not. But I just loved, I loved these bright colors for summer. It just feel so happy and I just I couldn't pass it up I was just seeing so many cute tops that I loved. okay I loved this color or I loved this top so much that I got it in another color this is like a teal like a dark teal with like a lighter sea foamy green it's the exact same top just a different color I'm not sure if it came in other options it might have come in just like one color where like the lining wasn't a different color but again these two just really really caught my eye um, I am wearing a small in them if I didn't say that but I just really really liked these I don't think I've shared the Amazon belt bag that I picked up. I did a, like a reel on Instagram and I may have, I probably posted it as a short for you guys, but I bought the Amazon belt bag that's supposed to be similar to the Lululemon one and I figured I would share it on here. I got this red color, which I don't think is available anymore. Honestly, when I went to order it, I picked a color that was going to arrive soon because when you go to the bag, while it is $20 cheaper than the Lululemon one, it's not like real prime like you can't get it in a day or two and some of them say they're even going to take weeks to arrive in certain colors so at the time this one was going to arrive like within a week so that's why i went and purchased it quite honestly i'm not even sure if i'm going to keep it i like it i mean as far as comparing it to the lululemon one the only difference is that there's no logo and the material it's just quite not the same in the bag, but everything else is the same. It's the same zippers. It's the same mesh pockets inside. Like it has that inside zipper. It has the big zipper, has all the same pockets inside. I'm thinking I might just keep this one because I really like the color and it was so affordable, but I'm gonna be honest that if I'm gonna go grab a belt bag because that's the bag I wanna wear with my outfit or I'm heading to yoga, I don't know in what world I'm gonna grab the Amazon one over the Lululemon one. It's not that I care about labels, it's just that if I have the nicer version of something, like why wouldn't I take that one? And I'm not like a matchy matchy where I'm gonna take this one because it matches because to me, all the colors I have, like you could just mix and match with different outfits. So 
I don't know, but I figure it's good for me to have it just to show comparisons if people have questions. And it is very comparable. So if you want a less affordable one, absolutely pick this one up. You're just gonna have to wait a while to get it. Okay, last item I'm gonna show in this video is this tank top from Lululemon. I was just immediately drawn to this color. It's just like the prettiest brown camel-y color. And if you look really close, it has like, it almost looks like blue and orange, but like stitching, like different color stitching through the top. It is a racer back. It's just, it's so great. This is like the perfect tank top for me to wear to work. Um, if you've watched either of my Lululemon try-ons, you would see that I was getting four and tank tops but I decided to get a six in this and I'm glad that I did I don't even have a bra on right now so I would definitely wouldn't want this to be any smaller I do have a couple tanks from them that are four and they're fine so I just think it depends on the fit of the tank like my Align crop top is a six and I think because this is more fitted I went for the six which is also the same size I wear in their sports bras just for breath. Okay girls, that's it for today's what's new in my wardrobe video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know your favorite piece down below. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you real soon. Bye.